next on our list is probably one of the biggest tourist attractions here in Sedona. We are going on a pink Jeep tour. Tyler and I debated this. We debated, do we want to go on a tour or do we want to rent our own ATV because there are plenty of places you can rent one and take one out yourself. But we recently ran into someone who did this tour and highly recommended it. We chose the 4 p.m. tour because reading on their website, it said how cool the rocks looked when the sun was setting on them. But as you've seen, in our video today. It's cloudy. It's cloudy. So we will likely not get the sun setting on the rocks, but hopefully it's still light enough out that the rocks are still really cool red and it's a great tour overall. Okay, so just to note, there is no parking at the actual Jeep building so you have to find free parking in downtown so give yourself extra time because we did not know this and so now we are driving around looking for a parking spot okay so that parking lot although it was multiple levels was completely full so we had to drive all the way to the end of 89a and go to a second parking lot in hopes of finding a spot there yeah okay we're walking on the way to the pink jeep tour i just know that if you do one of the tours that's longer the free parking is only for three hours so I'm not sure what you do if you take one of the longer the longer tours where you're gonna park. Steve told us that this is a great place to get prickly pear margaritas. And it actually uses stuff from the cactus to flavor the drink. It's so warm too. Okay. Cheers to a great full day in Sedona. souvenir shopping. I just want everyone to know too, all we did was ride a Jeep and then drank a prickly pear margarita and look what she has. It's like she's going backpacking for like a three day adventure. She has a blanket, she has a backpack. <laughs> that has my fleece sweater in the backpack, my jacket, plus my wool. It's cold and I was not cold on the ride. Just gonna reel her in. What a good day today. We are tired exhausted our feet hurt but we explored so much of sedona and we could not be happier can't wait for tomorrow maybe one more trail and then we'll get out of here 
Good morning, everyone. Today we are headed out of Sedona. So this is kind of our wrap up. However, we have two things we wanna see. First, the Chapel of the Holy Cross. This is a cool destination to check out because it is this giant chapel set to the backdrop of the Sedona Mountains, all covered with red rock behind it and a giant cross built in the front. And afterwards, we're gonna get a snack. A mile, arrive at your destination. And afterwards, we're gonna get a snack at Sedonuts. The cross was built in the 1950s, and if you're a fan of architecture and Frank Lloyd Wright, this was built by one of his students. So they do have golf cart rides available if you have to park at the bottom because you can't find any parking available at the top. They are free and they run during the hours that the chapel is open. This is like in the Red Rocks. They're like right there. Pink glaze. And that box. And classic glaze. If you're wondering, yes, I have donuts too, but they're certified gluten-free from a box. So I've already had the other five because I've had this box now for a day and a half, but let's make sure this one tastes good too. Still good. How was it? It was really good. It's gone? It's a classic good bite, the whole thing. Number two? I have two more for the ride home. <laughs> 